can't pee the my top here with another video. So this is first time you ever been on my channel. This is basically a financial channel. I talk about ways to make money, save money, invest in money, pretty much anything I do with money. And sometimes I can get away money. <laughs> but you gotta be a subscriber to get money from me. And of course, today I'm gonna talk about some money saving strategy. So I've been doing videos basically every I have I don't think I've missed a Saturday doing videos since September of 2020. So I I try to be consistent. I try to make it be at least one day where I'm consistent doing videos. So anybody subscribe to me, they know I, I do videos every Saturday. <laughs> so I try to do videos every Saturday, but I do videos throughout the week. Sometimes I do like those YouTube short videos. And then I do longer videos, like regular videos length throughout the week. But I try to keep that Saturday where I do at least one video. So that's like a consistent day. But anyway, today top's going to be basically about grocery shopping. And a way you could save or don't go over how much you're gonna spend. And one way you could do that is how much do you wanna spend on grocery shopping? Is it like $50, $70, $100? Maybe you don't wanna go over $100. So you gotta set up a number you don't wanna go over. And make sure you don't go over it while shopping. Hold up, Kent. Do you want me to like count money in my head while I'm shopping? Um, no, you don't have to do that. You can type in in the calculator. So, whatever the price is, as you type the price in, then you put it in the basket or put a put it in the basket first, then type the price in. Because once it's in there, it's yours unless you pull out. But if you pull it out, you got to subtract it in. So, some of y'all are probably like, hey, Ken, that does sound a good idea, putting the price in every time you put it in the, in the basket. But there's one thing you're forgetting, Kent. There's tassets. I didn't forget. I know there's tassets. And this is why I'm going to tell you to do this. So whatever the price is, it's added to the next dollar. Not the nearest dollar, the next dollar. So it's if an item is like six forty nine, just add this make it seven dollars in your calculator. If it's seven eighty five, round up to eight dollars. If it's four fifteen, add up to five dollars. So why you want to do this is, like I said, there's tactics. You want to make sure you don't go over this. And I actually did this today when I was shopping in Walmart. I didn't want to go over $70. So when I was shopping, I did just that. I add everything up to the nearest dollar. And I think I had like, what, $69 on the calculator? And then when I went to like the register it actually ended up being sixty three dollars so I could have spent seven dollars more but that's the way I made it to make sure I didn't go over so that's when you don't want to go over the certain price I mean I actually did say more than that because you know I had like the, the money saving apps I, let's let's talk about the money saving apps now. Let's talk about how many of y'all heard about Ibotta? I mean, I talk about it sometimes on the channel. I've been using Ibotta for six years now. And the thing, <laughs> so 
in case you haven't, if you never heard, if you've been watching every single one of my videos and you never heard uh, Ibotta, you must have been jawed my videos. <laughs> like that video. So with, with Ibotta, it's a, it's a money saving app. It's, just think of it, of it like coupons, but they're not official coupons. They're like in the app. Like, since I'm filming my phone, I can't really show you, but I'll just talk about it. Like, there'll be like a certain item. Like, let's say that there's some orange juice. It's a $1 cash back. Y'all to make sure it's the right brand. And one way to do that is there'll be like a barcode in the app. There'll be a scanner in the app. You, you scan the back of the barcode. And if it matches, then that means you use that to save money to get that dollar back. Of course, sometimes you got to pay attention because sometimes it will scan, but you need to pay like... You need to buy like two items to get that one dollar back. Cause this morning, I actually had like some popcorn seasoning. It was a one dollar back. It wasn't. Sometimes when I buy, when I get like items, I'll be looking, or if I plan on getting a certain item, I'll be looking. On, I bought it, seeing if there's like any deals. Cause I'll be trying to get that cash back. But I already had this popcorn season in my car, so I'm like, let's see if there's any deals on popcorn season. And it did match the barcode, but there was one small problem. It wanted me to get two of those to get that $1 bath. It was $1. I didn't want to buy two, so I just stuck with one. I mean, I don't use that much popcorn season. Maybe my friends came over more, I'll, I'll be using more. <laughs> But I really don't use that much popcorn seasoning. Uh, I end up actually throwing away after a while because it gets kind of stale. Because I don't really use that much. So I was going to waste. An, I was going to buy like an extra popcorn season just to save a dollar. It just didn't make sense to me. So sometimes you got to think like that. Is buying two, does buying two make sense to you? Maybe with cereal it, it will. Because you're gonna you're gonna probably buy more cereal anyway, so maybe that would make sense. But with milk, something like milk, let's say I need to buy like two milks to get that to get like an extra couple dollars. I mean, it won't be worth it for me because I don't drink a lot of milk. I mean, milk will stay in my refrigerator for weeks. So, like you saw in the other video, I, I pretty much get the milk that doesn't expire for like over a month. So that works for me. And with Ibotta, once you have like about, I think it's like, is it $10 or $20 for, for PayPal? It might be $10, I can't remember, but whether it's $10 or $20, once you had that much, you cash it out with PayPal, or you, you could get you, you could get gift cards. I mean, I recently turned like my Ibotta into into like gift card for eBay. So that was getting I was trying to get like some discounts to get that PS5, which I did get, guys. I admit it, I spent money on PS5, <laughs> but I did sell my PS4. So yes. By the way, PS5 does play PS4 games. <laughs> but originally, I was going to sell my PS3 and put the PS4 into the other room. Because I like to have a game system in my other room. So if I ever invite my friends over and they had their kids, I don't want them in the grown folks business. So I, I always send them in the room. So I try to have something in, in the room so I, in our faces. Since the PS5 played the PS4 game, I figured, I, you know what, I'll keep the PS3 and sell PS4 since I figured I'll get more money selling that one, which I did. So I, that's Ibotta. There's 
There's some other apps out there. I, I don't use all of them. Shot kick. That is, it's that one's points. They give you points with shot kicks. They call them kicks, but they're points. And you, you can use those points to get get cars, or you can now get like twenty five dollars worth of PayPal if you have a certain amount of points. So you can get PayPal money, but I usually choose to get get cars for that one. Then there's another one I use called Instant Dollars. I mean, it's a, it's basically it's mainly a survey app, but there's so much you could do with inbox dollars. You could get money back with this magic receipt, and I'll put a link down here so you could look into it. I mean, I got. I only got like, I didn't get a lot of money back today, but I got like six cents. But some items you could get more than that. You get like, I think that I saw something on there that you get like three dollars back. I did have an item too, it was like a muscle milk, but it said I needed to buy like three of those. Same thing happened with Ibotta too. I would have got, maybe I should have got three of those because it would have been like six dollars back total. Cause I bought was gonna give me three dollars back if I had three muscle milks, and I think uh, inbox dollars doing the same thing. Sometimes I have, sometimes I'll have promotions at the same time. <laughs> so, and there's another one called Drop, which I don't even use no more. It's trash now. I used to like it until they they changed the stuff around with the Drop app. So I don't even have that app no more. I deleted it. So I don't suggest getting that, getting into that app, unless they fist it up. The reason I say that I had like enough money, uh, enough points for seventy-five dollars worth of gift cards, I couldn't use it because they kept wanting me to wait like a whole week, like Thursday. Then I tried to redeem it, I was unable to. So I just got frustrated. I deleted that app after five years. It was good for five years, but got trash. And, and I'm sure that there's some other apps, some other money saving apps for shopping, shopping saving apps. <laughs> They're just not on my phone. But I bought us, I think I bought us the most popular. So I bought a, what's the other one again? Shock Kit. Those are like the two main ones I use. Then there's another one called, there's one with Amazon too. Amazon has their app where you can save, you get money back from buying items. But they're kind of picky. Sometimes you can only use Get like money back from a certain store with these items. Sometimes it'll be like the, it could only be like Whole Foods. Sometimes it's, I think it's Fresh Market. Then other times it is any. When they say any, I guess that's me. That means you could get money back from any store. And they pay you back with Amazon credits, which is. Which is good, you shop on Amazon a lot. So the main thing you want to do is set up how much you want to spend. Maybe for some of y'all it's fifty dollars, seventy-five dollars, a hundred dollars. Some of y'all might it might be one fifty or even two hundred dollars. Whatever that amount is, you don't want to get over. Go over. Just try to stick to that amount and then get your calculator like I said in the beginning of this video. <laughs> like earlier in this video. Every item you put in your cart, just put in the calculator. And once you're getting close to that, 
whatever, let's say it's 150. Once you're getting close to that 150, or maybe you hit exactly 150, then it's time to stop putting groceries in that cart and just end your day. But if there's items that you just really need, then maybe you want to take the items out of the cart. <laughs> but of course, when you do that, you're going to have to subtract. You're going to have to remember what price that item was when you take it out of the cart. So I just want to point that out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope y'all learned something in this video. Some money saving strategy while you're shopping. Because of a lot of us, we just go in the store, we just put aisles in the car and we have no idea how much we're gonna pay. So this is a way to prevent that. And of course you also have like the apps that help you save even more money. So I just want to point that out. Have a good weekend.